Hello, my name's Joe, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change a geometry brush into a static mesh inside Unreal Engine. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos, and don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, I've uh, in previous tutorials I've shown you how to very simply use geometry brushes, how to apply a textures to them, and now I'm going to show you how to change this into a static mesh so that you can export it into an FBX format or do whatever you want with it. So, um... What we've got here initially, as you can see here, we can select all the faces, but we want to obviously change this shape into a, a solid static mesh like you would get, say, if we if we compare the cubes here. Um, so, I'll just put that up. When we try to select the faces of cube, it's always selecting the, the whole cube, whereas if we go to this one, it's selecting each individual face. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to basically go into our world art liner, and select our brushes and so that is the main cube the cube that's intersecting here and the circle and then what we want to do is we want to find create static mesh so then when we hit create static mesh it's going to ask you where do you want to put it we we'll can give it a name here etc and now that has turned our three brushes into a static mesh that we can do whatever we want to you can export it out you could perhaps use that as the initial geometry if you wanted to, but it's got all our UVs um, baked into it. Well, not baked into it, but um, placed into it and all that, so we don't have to, to fiddle with any of that. And um, our textures, etc., are correct. As you can see here now, we've got each each of our textures here. So we've got our red, our wood, and our um, uh, circle one here that's got nothing on it. So what we can now do, when you're using geometry brushes, you can't apply a material instance, but what we can now do is we can now apply um, material instances to it. So we can see there straight away it's added our wood in. We can say, well, I want this to be um, uh, shocking green there. So you can see that now we now we can apply our instances to it. So it allows us to have more control over that. So hopefully this is helpful. It has great.